back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing easy, too easy brush pen art where you can do. This is not only for beginners, it's just that anyone can do. It's super easy. I'm using watercolor paper and these brush pens to do it. So let's get started. So um, the first art I'm going to be doing is uh, this a background with roses and then like filling the center with some words. So for this I'm using a yellow dark pink um this is not exactly dark but i do have another pink that's really light but i wanted to use this pink it's like the normal shade but it's darker than the light pink this is red and i'm using light green for the leaves and later i'm going to use dark green to outline the leaves uh, this is totally optional so yeah let's get on and you could also use teal for the leaves if you want teal is nothing but aqua but in aqua there's more of blue than green and in teal there's more green than blue so yeah let's just um get on with it so what i'm gonna do is first take my yellow and draw a rose i'm gonna show you how to draw a simple rose so um if you concentrate i'm gonna show you two ways the first way is start from inside to outside so what you have to do is you just have to draw a circle and a line and draw it like I'm going to show you in between these two lines the other line comes up so uh, as you can see in between the inner two lines uh, where they meet there's going to be a new line so this way is uh, also a cool way but I don't really like the shape how it turns out so I have another way which I'm going to show you in a minute so here is the other way this one is outside for, to inside, outside from inside, or outside to inside. So what you gotta do is draw the outer layer first, and then where the outer layers, two lines meet, you gotta draw another inner layer. So it's um, a little tricky, but uh, you, you can slowly get the hang of it. And um, see, I did like the product, like the finished uh, product better. Because I feel like um, the second way which I showed is really better. And now you have to draw the leaves. Uh, you could just draw the leaves anywhere. How many ever leaves you want. But I do recommend drawing two leaves because it will just be good. I don't like my shaping because I feel like it's a little weird. But anyway. So now I'm going to take dark line and outline the leaves. As I said, this is totally optional. You don't need to outline your leaves or anything. I'm just giving it a good look. And do not draw your lines thick because it actually blends with it. And mine ended up uh, blending. The dark green ended up blending with green. So I uh, forgot to draw thin lines. Mine went a little thick. So I didn't really like this, how it turned out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it over just like that. So I just, uh, what I did is I just flipped it over because I like the leaves um, down. So yeah, we're just going to draw some more leaves here now. Let's just do that. Let's do it. Yes. Okay, and now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to outline the same how we did it for the others. But before that, let's take another color and draw the rose. I'm going to take my dark pink and draw the rose. color like difference if I do teal for pink it'll look a little odd so I'm just gonna go with light green and do the same design again on it Thank you. 
As you can see, I did the same roses with red and now I'm doing the leaves. So as you can see, I just outlined it with dark green and they ended up blending. So um, now you gotta take black and just use any handwriting you want. You could write all in caps, but I'm just doing a little different style. So yeah, and what you gotta do is write nothing and then write is, then go, um, impossible I'm just gonna do some random handwriting I just changed the handwriting a little bit for each word because I felt that it was better like that and I really like it and I couldn't fit the whole word make sure you leave enough space <laughs> I couldn't fit the whole word but I just try to do something it ended up being good anyway so yeah I really like the finished product so you could write anything, uh, maybe even your name in the between, I don't know. But I decided to write nothing is impossible. You could write many more things like this, like hope or anything like that. So yeah, I just did it. There we go. And um, now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to move on to the next uh, art. Let's move on to that and let this dry just for like a minute. It takes a minute to dry, so yeah. So for this, I'm using a wider watercolor paper. So yeah, let's just move on. So what I'm gonna do is take my uh, black color brush pen and I'm gonna be drawing a square. And the surface I'm drawing on right now is a big paper, but it's um, sadly not watercolor paper because uh, I didn't find this size of watercolor paper, but you could just use watercolor paper too for this. So yeah, you just gotta draw a frame or like a square. My lines are not perfect, but I'm gonna make it um, straight afterwards. So you're gonna draw the rose, which we did earlier, um, the same method. I'm using a light pink this time. Just gotta draw the rose. And what I'm going to do now is get uh, my light green and draw a few leaf, leaves. I'll just do that. There we go. So now you can go ahead and outline your leaves like we did before, but I'm going to do that later. So now what you're going to do is take yellow. I have two yellows, uh, the lighter yellow and the darker yellow. I'm going to take the lighter yellow now and um, light yellow. And now I'm going to just draw a little semicircle uh, and draw the petals of the leaf, uh, flower. I was about to tell leaf. <laughs> so you have to draw the petals of the flower and now I'm gonna take my teal brush pen and I'm just gonna fill in that semicircle I drew. It's supposed to be the center of a flower, you know, the circle part. So now what I'm gonna do is take dark yellow and give it some outlines or a better look because with outlines it looks better and it has a more flower effect. See here? So what I'm going to do now is do the exact same thing over here. So um, just to repeat that. So I'm just going to flip it. Okay, now no, I need to flip it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, oops, why am I using light pink? <laughs> I'm going to take yellow and do the same exact thing.
So I'm done with the same exact yellow flower. Now what you're going to do is take light green. Um, and I'm going to just take light green and draw three leaves or just how many ever leaves you want. Just a bunch of leaves um, of different sizes or just different shapes. It's up to you. And you could remember you could also do this with normal paint or you could do this with markers. Or you could even do this with color pencils because they're... Practically, uh, they practically look the same when you're done with it. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna draw the leaves and outline it. So now what you're gonna do is want to take take your um, dark pink. Uh, I'm just gonna finish. Yeah. So now what you're gonna do is take dark pink, and I'm just gonna draw like a bunch of shapes, like circles or something. You could just go ahead and draw anything: diamonds, squares, triangles. I felt that circles would look better than all of that. I just drew um, any ra like just random sizes of the circles. I decided to draw three of them, and just uh, decided to do the same here. So this gives a good like flower themed tropical themed frame look i'm gonna just like now what i'm gonna do is do the exact same thing here this whole thing down here repeat the all the designs are gonna be same just repeat it here so i'm done with that as you can see um i did this thing and this is just like a frame or maybe like uh you know just anything you could just um write anything or even draw anything even draw flowers maybe you could just do anything with it i would i would actually write something in it i'm just gonna insert some text <laughs> for you to get an idea how it would look but yeah that turned out good now i'm gonna show you some other things i did with brush pens so here they are this one is very similar to what I did, and these are just the same, but they are just a little different. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!